Some of you may actually be surprised when I say this, but the Dynaco Cruise Color Changer is actually a re-release. Yeah, this cruise has actually been released before. I believe in around 2018, a Dynaco Cruise and Jackson Storm Color Changer were both released on the old style of Color Changer packaging, but I don't think they ever made it to America. They were very limited release only in certain parts of the world. But now with the new wave of Color Changers, with the new packaging and everything, Dynaco Cruise has become readily available, turning from yellow to orange. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Color Changer Dynaco Cruise Ramirez, so let's get started. Recently I picked up a couple of these guys uh, at Target the other day. I was hoping to find the whole wave of Color Changers, but I only found Bobby, Dynaco Cruise, and Brand New Mater, who will be my next review. I also found a few other cars I've been uh, reviewing recently. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my recent cars hauls, definitely make sure to check out my blog. The link is always in the description of all my videos. And there I uh, always post what new cars I'm getting, as well as other things, updates. I do a lot of Cars Adventures Q&As and Cars Adventures updates and other things like that. So definitely make sure to check that out. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a post over there on um, making a new shelf. Yeah, that's right. It's time for me to make another new shelf because um, I'm all out of space on this one and my other race car shelf. So I'm going to be making a new shelf. I'm going to attach it to the bottom of my uh, other race car shelf that mainly has the next gens on it now. But you'll be able to see more of that on my blog uh, in a few days once I make that. Anyway, guys, again, let's get started with the review of Cruz here. Her artwork, um, of course, depicts her being splashed with this very artificial looking water and turning to orange. Although it's very subtle, I feel like it's kind of hard to tell the difference in some areas between what's orange and what's yellow on her. Of course, Cruz herself is a different shade of yellow than this, uh, than the regular Cruz die cast just because she's plastic and not metal. An interesting thing is going to be her spoiler though. Usually on these color changers, unfortunately, if the spoiler is a different piece, it doesn't change color. Um, but you could very clearly see on camera, it's much more apparent on camera than it is in real life, that her spoiler is a completely different color than her as well. Uh, anyway, though, you can see Dynaco Cruz Ramirez there. We have all these water splashes on the name tag. Two and one. I didn't realize this with my Bobby Swift review yesterday, but um, the two and one shows the two colors that the car is, which is a nice touch. You can see that from Mater as well. Of course, we got the color changers there. And I like how the packaging, at least on the top here, has the whole cold water, hot water thing going on. On the back, you can see Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. Cool water changes the color. Sorry, cold water changes the color. Warm water changes it back. And again, cold water is going to change Cruz to this orange color. And warm water is going to change her back to the default yellow. So let's get her out of the package here. And of course, I will be um, testing out Cruise in this review. By the way, thank you all so much for all of your support recently on these color changer videos. I've been super excited to get all these new color changers and to review them, and I'm so glad you all have been uh, enjoying them as well. So here is Cruise out of the packaging, and yeah, the shade of yellow on her really doesn't look too good. It actually looks better in real life compared to on camera. For some weird reason, the camera is making it look a bit of a paler yellow. Um, I think it looks fine in real life, but still not that good um, of a shade of yellow. You know, it's not as vibrant as the regular Cruise, and you could just chalk that up to this being plastic and not metal, and obviously the color has to be changed, so maybe they have to make some adjustments to that. Speaking of adjustments, though, this Cruise is basically identical to a regular Dynaco Cruise diecast in the details department, aside from some things that are missing. You can see her headlights are definitely less detailed. They're just silver paint streaks. Got the Dynaco logo there on her hood. Typical Cruise expression. She is missing her, oh, I was gonna say she's missing her signature because Bobby was, but Cruise doesn't actually have her signature up there. Got Dynaco 51, even her secondary sponsors are there. Something interesting going on with the Lightyear logos being sort of yellow, uh, it seems. Oh wait, hold on, that's on regular cruise. Okay, Dynaco 51, we've got the Pissing Up Combustor Carbon Cyber and Synergy. Of course, not like the clearest decals, but it's so nice that they went the extra mile to include as many details as they could. 
Unfortunately, she is missing the Dynaco writing on her spoiler though. The gas cap is not colored in either. Of course, we have Dynaco written there on the spoiler, which again is a separate piece um, and unfortunately won't be changing color. It shouldn't be too distracting. It is pretty distracting on some other color changers though, like Wingo, who, I mean, come on. Wingo is like 60% spoiler, 40% actual car. Um, so, yeah, it's unfortunate that the spoilers don't change color. Got the 51 and Tynico logo there on the back alongside her rookie stripes, which is another nice touch. There is the other side, and there is her base. Of course, these are made in uh, Vietnam, and her uh, base is dated 2018, which is interesting. So now let's get some warm water and some cold water, and we're going to test out this cruise's color changing. So as you can see, I have my water now, the warm water on the left to change cruise back to yellow, and the ice water on the right. May have gone a bit too far with the ice this time. So you know what? Let's just get right into it and let's test it out. Oh, that is a... That is a pretty subtle change there. Uh, huh. Hmm. Let's see. Let's put it back in the yellow. Uh, so here she is as yellow. Then we're going to put her back into the orange. There really is not um, that much of a change with her. Is that just me? Huh. Well, she definitely is a darker color. Hmm. Uh, maybe if we just leave her in there for a minute. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely a more subtle change. Maybe the water isn't cold enough or something. I think the water is fine. I have five ice cubes in there, but just in case, let's get another color changer in there. Yeah, the water is fine. So Cruz's change is just more subtle, I guess, which is unfortunate. I mean, she definitely is a darker color. She definitely is more orange. Um, but you can barely tell that, honestly. Okay, well, yeah, there definitely, definitely is a difference. But it's definitely not as much as the packaging showed. You know what? Then again, at the beginning of the review, I said that on her artwork, it was difficult to tell the difference between what was orange and what was yellow. So I guess that's kind of true for the actual car. But yeah, especially compared to the pictures on the back of the packaging, I was hoping for a bit of a darker orange. Just a bit of a darker color in general, more of a noticeable change. But hey, if I want a noticeable change, it looks like Mater is going to go through one heck of a color change next time. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let's do one more change to a slightly darker color. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.